Extreme Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts, where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Today's players will once again be battling their way through four outrageous events, and after that, they'll get a chance at tackling our radical rock, the Agro Crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and he or she will be able to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment and will have a stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please, don't try this at home. Now on to our first event. Everybody who plays hoops streams of slam dunking a basketball. Well, today on Guts, they're going to have their dreams come true. We've got an elastic cord helping our players slam a basketball through a hoop 11 feet high. Let's talk to our referee, Moore Quirk, for the rules. Mo, talk to me. Thanks, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will grab a basketball, jump off the bridge, bounce up, and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible. All three players will compete at the same time, and baskets will only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. The player with the most baskets at the sound of the horn wins. Mike? All right, so it looks like we are getting ready for a serious jam session right here. Looks like our players are ready. On your mark, get set. And they are off, jumping down and up. Now, they do not have to slam it through the hoop. They can just take a nice little jump shot from behind. Oh, and there's a shot of uh, Matt just missing it a little bit. He's getting situated back up there. There is Allison, and there's... Julie trying to take a shot up by our purple player. Maddie having some trouble. Oh, look, Allison is definitely getting caught up there. The momentum, very important in this game. There is, all right, this Julie with the shot over. If you are going up and you shoot while you are still going up, the basketball will keep going with you. So, the precision points of getting a basket through the hoop, very, very, very small. Okay. Ten seconds coming down. Looks like our purple team just got a score. Six, five, four. He's slamming it home. Three, one. I'm way off. That's it. Time running out. All right. So it is going to be very close here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see what the score is. Our judges and our referee, Moore Quirk, now tabulating and... Let's go to Mo right now. Okay, in first place with two baskets is Matt in purple. And tying in second place, Allison in red, Julie in blue with one basket each. All right, so that's the results for that one. Let's take a look at Julie taking a shot up and in. Nice little two-handed shot, a swish. And we got our winner, Matt, right here. Matt, how did it feel to be, uh, you know, flying through the air on that one? Just like flying, being a bird. <laughs> being a bird, flapping his wings. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and check out our scores right now. Mo. First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Matt in purple, tying in second, Allison and Julie with 200 points each. Okay, fly, Robin, fly. 20 more to play, but now it's time for Jules to spill her guts. So, Julie, spill your guts. Jump in. Julie Arnold is 12 years old. She likes to ski both on water and snow. She admits that she thrives on adventurous hikes in the mountains of Wyoming. All right. And that's jumping Julie. The hills of Wyoming calling her. Well, time for a little tennis, my friends. The Extreme Arena eating up for a little tennis. Imagine Monica Seles, Martina Navratilova, and Jim Curry are all serving at you simultaneously. Bang, 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 
That's what's going to happen in this next event. We like to call it aces. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Steady, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will have 30 seconds to hit as many tennis balls across the net as possible. The player with the most returns wins. So, on ready, on your mark, get set. Oh, here comes jumping Julie. Yeah, with two over there so far, folks. That's it. Needs to stretch out her feet a little bit there. She's already got three over the net. Four. She's locking him right at me. Five. She is doing excellent. Six. I'm telling you, folks, she is doing an excellent job at this point. Eleven, ten seconds left. She is very concentrated and keeping her eye on the tennis ball. Five, four seconds. Three, two, one. And that is it. An excellent showing by Jumpin' Julie. Hip-hopping her way around the court. Mo, what's the results? Julie returned 10 serves. 10 serves? Magnificent! Magnificent. Now it is Allison's turn. Looks like we're ready. Ready? On your mark, get set. All right, Allison. Getting her racket up there. Smacking it away at the tennis balls. Remember, those tennis balls are coming at our players approximately 35 miles an hour from three different angles. It's like saying to a Wimbledon player, yeah, I'm on your baseline. Serve that at me. Come on. I'll take you on. And that's exactly what Allison's thinking right now as she continues to hit tennis balls. She's kicking them. She's playing soccer. One second left. She's running out. Okay. There's Allison in the red. Let's find out what the tally was. Mo, talk to me. Allison returned three serves. Three <laughs> serves. Okay, so Allison... Currently in second place, Matt certainly has a task to beat this time. He has Ready? got to get more than 10. On your mark, get set. And here's Matt moving left. Oh, yeah, with a little underhand shot there. And there's an overhand. Oh, it went right by him on that one, folks. Slip him by. He's knocking him like fly balls in Fenway Park. All right. Doesn't matter as long as it goes over the net. That's all that counts here. Ten, nine seconds left. Does he have ten yet? We don't know. We'll have to get the official results. Five seconds. Four, three. It's going to be close. Two, one. All right. So, Matt. We'll have to wait for the official results. I'm sure he's thinking, oh, what's the score going to be on this one? She's got him. Mo. Matt returned eight serves. So that puts Julie in first place. Matt, Matt in second place. Allison in third place. All right. So, Julie, let's take a look at this fine form. She missed it on that one, but came right back with the barreling shot, pummeling those tennis balls, one after the other, ending up with ten of them. Julie, you did fantastic on that game. I gotta tell you, how did it feel to be hitting all those balls at once? Felt great, it, but it was kind of annoying. It, I didn't it, hit them all. It, you, you didn't have to hit them all. You hit enough to win. That's Julie. Okay, let's go to the leaderboard right now. Mike, we have a tie in first place. Both Matt in purple and Julie in blue have 500 points. Allison in red is in third place with 300 points. All righty. We will see if Allison can make a comeback in our next event. We'll be coming back right after this. Some happy players. There's Julie putting a smile on her face. He's tied for first with Matt. And Matt's thinking about what's going to happen. Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Guts! Well, they got it once again here today on Guts, my friends. And before we get to our next event, it's time for Allison to spill our guts. So, Allison, spill your guts. Amazing Allison Anderson is 14 years old. She relaxes by going fishing. But amazing isn't just about lazy rivers and worms. She admits that she sometimes needs to run around and let loose. And that's amazing for you. Well, our next event... It's totally cool, totally rad, totally tubular. <laughs> Get it? Our players are going to turn themselves into a little donut surprise. Mo, what are the rules? Players will start at the sound of my whistle, and they will race across the pool collecting tubes around their bodies. They must touch the end of the pool and then come straight back. The first player back with all of the tubes around them will be the winner, and penalties will be added for any missed tubes. With that, on your mark, get set. All right, like Matt Biondi, Janet Evans, they're in there getting the tubes on their neck, in their body, and flying along. Oh, yeah, 
in a little donut surprise. It is going to be very close on this one. They look like caterpillars. That's what they do. It's in the way along. Look at it. Two of them are swimming. One of them's walking. We got a great game going here. Swimming along. Got to be close at the finish, folks. Oh, that looks like our player at the end there, Matt, could have the win on that one. This is going to be close. Swimming. They were definitely had a lot of flotation devices around themselves that time. An amazing job. You take a look at Matt as he gets out of the pool. Looks like he might have been the one who won this game. That's my opinion. Let's go to Mo for the final results. Mo. In first place is Matt in purple. In second place, Julie in blue. Third place, Allison in red. All right. Let's take a look at the replay. Coming in for the finish. And that is... Looks like, I mean, I can't really see, but it looks like Allison Julian is the, the shot of Matt coming in and touching first. Matt, was, was it hard to swim with those inner tubes on you? Yeah, I felt like you couldn't move, and I thought I was going to lose because I saw her coming up right behind me. But you kept your head up, and he definitely won on that one. Let's go to the leaderboard right now and Mo and find out where we stand after that event. Mo, in what do you got? first place, we have Matt in purple with 800 points. Second place, Julian Blue with 700 points. Allison in red comes in third with 400 points. So Matt hits first place on that one, and now it's time to spill his guts. So Matt, spill your guts. Marvelous Matt Allen is 13 years old. He frequently competes in BMX biking competitions. Matt seeks out thrills, especially in water sports. And that is Matt, the man. The Extreme Arena heating up for our next event. And our players are going to get a chance to make their mark on our wall on a vertical leap with some help from an elastic cord. Let's talk to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, each of our players will get three jumps to make their highest mark on our wall. Jumps that do not include two handprints will be disqualified. Best jump counts for each player. Highest set of handprints wins. So dip your hands. And on your mark, get set. Hand, hand, fingers, thumb, look at Julie. Oh! Okay, clawing at that wall right there. Getting her hands back in the goop. On your mark, get set. Here she goes, a big leap. Ooh, ooh, I think she's too close to the wall on that one, folks. You can see those handprints on the floor right there. That is actually the point where you should try to place your feet before you jump up and attack that wall. More paint on her hands. On your mark, get set. All right, and here's Julie, up there, bang! Now there is a jump, people! We gave her three tries. We gave everyone three t tries, and it looks like she definitely got down the strategy by the time she did her third jump. She got a little pain on her hands, some on her legs, and two prints on the wall, the most important part. Now let's go to Mo for the results, Mo. Julie made a mark of 14 feet even. 14 feet even, even Steven, we're getting Allison up on the wall, she'll put her hands in the paint, take it away Mo. It's the dipping of the hands, there we go, and on your mark, get set. The dipping and now the jumping, and up and no, oh. she, her arms were, I believe, too outstretched on that one, on she still mark. has paint on her. get set. She's all set with the paint. Oh, get a little oh, bit more on there. she's going to get more. Heck? On your mark, get set. All right, there is Allison. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the precision on this, very important. I'm always talking about precision here on guts. You got to get the strategy down. She'll on your mark, get set. All right, here she goes. And up and... Gets getting one hand on there. We'll now take a look at what her low, highest mark is on this one. We do take the lowest point of the mark as in a high jump competition. Or actually, I should say a long jump competition. Mo, what is, what's the results? Okay, Allison's highest hit was only with one hand. So actually, her hit is nine feet three inches. That was with both hands. Okay, so nine feet three inches. We'll see what Matt can do. Matt getting up there, and he will get harnessed in 
You never know what can happen with our third player. Dip your hands. <laughs> and on your mark, get set. The Extreme Arena, ready for match jump. Oh! Did he get both of his hands on there? It looks like it, but yep. we'll have to get a ruling from the judges as he dips his hands. On your mark, get set. All right. The purple player. Oh! Oh, boy, folks. Looks like he got both his hands on that one. On your mark, get set. And here, down, flying through the air. Oh! Doesn't look like he got anything on that one. And he's getting back up on the aerial bridge. We are now getting a ruling on what his highest mark is. Looks like Mo is ready. Mo, what do you got for me? Matt made 15 feet, one inch. That puts him in first place. That puts Junior in second place. And that puts Allison in third one place. One inch on a 17-foot board. I'm telling you, my friend, that was excellent. Let's take another look at that one. Look at this leap. Perfect form as he gets both feet on the ground. And then up. Slap me. A high 10, not a high 5. And we got Matt over here by my side. Matt, talk us through that last event. I didn't think I was going to get that high, but I was pretty lucky. I just got a good push when I got down there, oh. and I was just airborne. <laughs> All right, he was airborne with the elastic cord. Elastic Sports here on Guts once again. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo. After a little matte painting, Matt in purple is in the lead with 1,100 points. We've got Julian Blue in second with 900 points. Allison in red third with 500 points. Matte painting, I think I like that, Mo. And we got the mountain coming up. Everything you could want in a mountain climb and more. Here is Roar. We are back, and this mountain is coming alive, waiting for our players. Before we get to that, let's take a look at the leaderboard and see where they stand. After four events, we have Matt in purple in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place, Julian Blue with 900 points. And in third place, Allison in red with 500 points. That's a look at where they stand now. Let's take a look at how they got there. And take a look at Julie as she goes airborne. And two hands, a little swish for Julie. Cruz directing that last shot. Very nice move. And now we'll take Julie out onto the tennis court, lifting up one leg and hitting it. Yeah, getting balanced as she might have missed that one. But she played that game very well. She smacked another one over the net in aces. Now take a look at Allison. She hits that one right there and says, I'm going to boot this one. And gets right into position. Keeps on hitting the tennis balls. Trying and take a look at Julie as she puts those tubes around her in our event. Totally tubular. They had to hit the wall first. And Jules on that one having some trouble getting back. But she put her hands out in front of her. You'll see Matt on the other end. Our purple player taking it home. Swimming along like he was in the English Channel trying to make a world record time and slaps it home for the win. Take a look, speaking about slapping, as he slapped his hands on the wall. There is Matt, touching it. Oh yeah, doing a great job as he got back up on the aerial bridge. Fantastic job for Matt on that one. And as we go into our final event, the aggro crag, Matt is in the lead. The aggro crag, the event where anything can happen. You can see slime floods, rock avalanches, snowstorms. The aggro crag about to decide it again. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. During their climb, they must light up each of six targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to set off all the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will receive first place points. Mike. As our players get their game faces on and get psyched up to climb the aggro crag, let me remind you that the points have skyrocketed in this final event. Third place being worth 375 points. Second place, 550 points. 
first, a whopping 725 points. The Mountain about to decide it. Let's give it back to Mo. Players, on your mark, get set. And like Bob say, hell is about to erupt. The flag has asked for our players. They are making a move up there. Looks like Allison, our red player, and Matt, and that's our blue player, having some trouble. Julie, oh, it's going to be close. It looks like Matt has hit his flag first. And Allison having some trouble. She missed a few actuators. She has got to smack each actuator before she gets up there. It looks like she missed a lot of actuators on her climb up the mountain. There is still snow all over the place. It looks like she still has more actuators to hit. She may be getting the signal, but it looks like she's going to take third place at this point. She's having some trouble. You can see our spotter, Frankie, at the top there, letting our players know as they are continuing to climb that Allison must hit her final actuator. So it looks like the first place position will be taken by Matt, and second place will be by Julie. Let's actually, we still need to find out the ruling on this one. Let's go for our uh, final result. And actually, let's take a look at a replay first. You can see as Allison is getting caught up here, she is climbing the, the mountain, but she's not hitting any of the actuators. The rocks tumbling all over Julie, but she still manages to hit that actuator. And you can see Matt as he takes his final ascent. There is a bigger shot. You can see Allison getting informed that she has missed those actuators as Matt clocks in for his final final shot and actually an excellent performance by Matt once again here today let's go to uh, Mo, Mo for the final results and find out where they stand Mo okay it was the fact that Allison missed out the actuators that put her in third place so that was why the crag is this deciding factor coming in third place today we have Allison in red with 875 points in second place Julian blue with 1450 points and our winner today is Matt with 1,825 points. Congratulations. Okay, so the bronze medal going to Allison. There's a gut bronze medal for her. Let's hear for Allison. The silver going to Julie. A magnificent performance on the crag, getting up there in second place. And then our winner today, folks, Matt. That's Matt taking home the gold medal. And a big piece of our glowing rock. Hold it high. A beautiful performance. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for these players. A great job. All right. Step on down and take a bow, folks. No ifs, ands, or buts. These folks got guts. Do you have it? All right. Take a look, take a bow. All Gus players That's compete it. in Reebok athletic shoes. Life is short, play hard. Guts was recorded in front of a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.